Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about Kid Icarus Uprising for the Nintendo 3DS. Now I got this game for 32 bucks, but it's more like a $3 mobile phone game because it's that bad. So how bad is this game? Well, first off, let's talk about 3DS packaging. The packaging is um okay. Circle Pad Pro compatible. It's got local co-op play. Uh, it's supposed to be this amazing big game, but it's not that great. For example, this game originally came with a stand. That should tell you something about the controls of this game. They're bad. But anyways, let's open it up. The 3DS packaging for the games is horrible. It's got this stupid eco-friendly packaging with Swiss cheese holes. Just some pictures. We got this stupid toilet paper manual and some stupid things saying, buy more games for your 3DS now. Like a re-release, a rehash, and a rehash. Nice. And the only good part about the case, the packaging, is the fact that there's some little image up in the back there. And that's about it really, because packaging just blows. So let's have a look at the game itself, shall we? So now, as you can see, this is a 3DS screen. Now, I'm going to open, go to the game, and as you can see, it plays off nostalgia. Oh my god, Retro AB, it's so cool. Let's load the game up. I'm going to zoom out just so you can see how bad the controls are. As you can see, it wants me to touch. Gonna load my save file, and as you can see, you got Smash Bros. Brawl Star menu where you've got single player and some online battle mode. I'm gonna focus on the single player first. The single player controls suck. You get to pick some armor and shit, redeem your items, combine weapons, gonna pit redeem hearts. As you can see, ton of weapons I can't fucking afford. So I'm going to go to, so basically you get to pick your weapons and stuff. You can pick your weapon, uh, I'm going to equip this random, well I'm going to go back in gear, I'm going to pick the other weapon. I'm going to pick this random weapon move out okay so basically first thing you'll notice is that they want you to actually use in-game money to increase the difficulty I'm not making this up they seriously want you to use in-game money to increase the difficulty and by difficulty I mean spammy spam so I'm just gonna increase the difficulty some because you know easy games are kind of boring too Basically, the controls for this are kind of eh. And you move your stuff around, it's like Space Harrier, kinda. It's stupid dialogue. And yeah, these controls are bad. As you can see, the 3DS is moving all over the place. Because if I try to keep it stable, yeah, this is shitty. Let me just move the thing this is on so I don't scratch the screen too much. You just hold one button, move the thing around, and you better hope you don't get screwed by the crappy controls. This is all the game is. It's like, first few minutes, or like, as you can see, it's already playing off the soldier. First thing you do, move around through these stupid force cutscenes, like Space Harrier. The graphics, the graphics look like your average PSP game. And that's some old, from some old 2004 system. Oh, shit. 
me and show made it difficult to be easier for recording because this thing's a bitch to record because these shitty ass controls. You see, this game apparently they thought it'd be a cool idea to use the stupid single touch. Can you skip these goddamn cutscenes? You can't skip these stupid cutscenes, you're forced through these. And they go through while you play. Annoying as fuck. Voice acting's annoying. This is stupid. So basically, yeah. Most of these attacks are just cheap shit. They just throw shit in your face, which you can't dodge, and it's even worse if you got 3D on. Because, guess why, when you got 3D on, you can't see shit. So, I kill this fucking thing. And looky here. The music's kind of repetitive and annoying. It's the same. Do 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 stuff. You know, kind of stuff here in Smash Bros. That's kind of annoying. Oh my god, these controls, this, I hate, the, this style of shit is absolutely horrendous. Seriously, this is awkward as these controls are, oh my god. And this is where the gameplay really gets bad. I might have thought the gameplay sucked then, but it really starts to suck now. You see, right now is when you gotta go on ground missions. How bad are ground missions? Well, ground missions are bad. You move with the analog stick, and you shoot with this trigger. And then what you also do is you, um, you move the camera and aim with the reticule. I kid you not, somebody in Nintendo thought this was a good control setup. It's even worse when you're holding it. Like seriously. Who the f- Oh my. These controls suck balls. Seriously. It's even worse when you're holding the damn thing you can't control shit. If you use ABXY, it gets even worse. Because ABXY is slow as crap. And let me show you. Let me go two options. Control configuration. I'm going to set circle pad ABXY. Now I'm going to go to resume and check this out. Look how, look how slow this is aiming it. I mean, it's no excuse for a real analog stick. This is bad. Now they have a circle pad pro add on, but why couldn't they put two analog sticks like? on a PlayStation Vita. This was one of the things I didn't like about the PlayStation Portable. The one analog stick. That way goes back to where you started. It's it's bad. This is this is stupid and the whole gameplay is just run in a line to win. It's just linear, linear, linear. Run in a straight line, you beat the game. And then you if you don't die from cheap deaths, because this game Cheap deaths everywhere. It's just not fun, and the graphics, they look like, just like all 3DS games, they look like a PSP game. How is this game supposed to be fun again? It also has a co-op mode, but, battle mode, but it's probably not that fun. I'm gonna, the controls suck already in single player mode, you know what?
This game sucks. And you know the worst part? It costs 30 bucks. So what's wrong with this game? The graphics are kind of mesh, but then I guess it's a 3DS, so why should I expect more? Gameplay blows. It plays off nostalgia. And the music kind of blows too. You know, there's just annoying dialogue after annoying dialogue after annoying dialogue. And of course, you know the worst part? This game's 30 bucks. Used. And you know, this game's selling you for 40 bucks. When this game's selling you for 40 bucks, you've got a problem. And this is why nobody's buying Nintendo systems. Because they just suck. Especially with the horrible game library. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Don't buy this. Ever. I mean, because seriously, why would you buy this game when you can't even control it properly? Because the controls suck. And you know the worst part? The guys at GameStop, not only did this other GameStop guy tell me to get Adventure Time, but they told me this was a good game.